So shooters and reloaders out there, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And you know, I'm looking around the house for stuff from Russia. And you might think that there's not much stuff from Russia, but chess comes to mind because Russians are really big into playing chess. And so like, I've got books here from Russian authors, like this guy named Irving Chernev, who wrote The Bright Side of Chess, got a lot of Russian games in there, and then there's The Russians Play Chess. But that book I can't find because I gave it away. I gave it to the cable guy who came in to fix our internet connection, and he fixed it, did a nice job, and we were talking, and he's got a nephew that plays chess. So I gave him the book, The Russians Play Chess, to give to his nephew. Because it's like this. These books were given to me by a guy named George Hirsch. Way back in 1964. And he was our MD. And so he said, Dear Steve, so he wrote this because he knew I was playing chess, so he gave me some chess books. So I gave that one to the cable guy to give to his nephew. And I, I told the cable guy, be sure to write an inscription in there because it's going to outlive him. I'm not going to give all the chess books that Dr. Hirsch gave me because they're important, but that one, that one's going to go to a good use. Anyway, well, what else do I have from Russia? And that is, when it comes to shooting, Big Russian primers, but you can't get these anymore because of the prohibition of importation. Maybe that'll change. Hopefully it will. But what else do I have from Russia? Well, we got nice 7.62 by 54R ammo. Great stuff. But you know what? You can't get this either now. But then also, 7.62 by 39. All set up in stripper clips for the SKS rifle. This is good stuff. Oh, I love this stuff. But now, what do I have from Russia? Russian slug molds, and that's the name of this video. Slug molds from Russia. Now, you know, this was tipped off to me by Thorzak777, who gave me some of these Russian slugs to try, and you know what? Those Russian slugs shoot gangbusters. It's like lights out. Great slugs. So I had to get my own mold, and of course, I went ahead and got on eBay and ordered this mold, and now you can't make heads or tails of it because it's all babbling in Russian here. But they come straight from Russia. And so I put an order in on eBay and sure enough it came. Now the packaging where it was sent was is very interesting. It's got a lot of postage on it. And here's the Russian stampings and all this kind of stuff. But apparently it was shipped through France because you got some French here. It says here par avion, which means air, and then it's a small package, petit paquet, so small packaging, and uh, then it's got a lot of Russian, uh, got a lot of Russian address here, and all kinds of Russian instructions there, so it's very interesting how the shipping, by the way, they don't charge for shipping, so the $88 that I paid for this mold includes the shipping. But it just comes in an envelope. And this is what the mold looks like. So this is another tabletop review on these. Give you a good look at these molds. Now the design of this mold is very different than our molds because it's cylindrical. And it has a floppy sprue plate here but it closes nicely as you see. And when you cut the sprue off, it just swings out and then you swing it back in. Now, it turns out that the mold itself, the blocks, 
The cylindrical blocks are made out of aluminum. But the mold handles here, which are proprietary. You can't use these handles for anything else that you have. And you can't use any handles on our US molds on this Russian block. Because they are offset. This is totally different than any design that we have here in the United States. But the handles are actually made out of steel, as is the bolt that goes through the handle bolt. This is important because if you're going to tap on this mold right here, you want to know that these handles are going to be able to take it. And these handles will. Now the handles are very nice wood handles and they are not attached in the same way that say for instance our Lee mold handles are. are. These are firmly in, into the wooden handles and I don't look at this for coming loose. But the handles are very nice and long and will take care of any heat protection for us easily. Now these molds are single cavity and they have a hollow base so you got a pin in here and when you look at the pin it's also made out of aluminum now the screw plate here though is made out of steel so this is a steel part as are the little bolts and the, the attaching screws for the handles to the blocks are also steel but this core pin is made out of aluminum also. And you don't want to drop this core pin too often because it happens to have a hollow core. And if you if you drop this and it lands here, it's possible to, to distort this core pin here. So extra care in not dropping this. But interestingly is the hollow core pin because what that does is when you cast it, you'll get a slug that is hollow base, but it'll have a solid rod core of lead coming down in, into the hollow cavity. And that's designed to be mated to a proprietary wad that looks like this. Except that it's all plastic and it goes into the slug and then it has a, a, a wad design that's very interesting. We've got to get those wads. This core pin fits right into the blocks like so and you close the blocks on that and it closes up very nicely. You almost can't see the joint between the blocks and that goes all the way around. So this is quality construction even though you might look at it at first it looks kind of uh, cheap but it's not when you really look at it it's what you have here is a quality mold so the Russians can make molds but I'm looking forward to casting these now the directions are in Russian translated into English so the instruction sheet was written in 2016 and you see it's basically Russian but they do have a address and website email and they actually have a phone number here if you want to contact them. Good, reliable, dependable company because they filled my order and got it to me in about two weeks. But we'll have to heat this core pin up when we do the casting because when the core pin's not heated up, the slug won't drop off the, the little stem there. Apparently, you can do something where when you take the slug out, you can reposition the slug onto this area here and close the mold again and be able to pull the slug loose. We'll see how that works. At any rate, take care. We're looking forward to going ahead and casting with this right away. But uh, this is a tabletop review of these very impressive mold blocks. By the way, as most of you know, the guidelines on YouTube prohibit reloading videos. So you'll find my reloading videos over on the Reloaders Network, and also on Vimeo. But uh, you're also invited to my Patreon site, Three Circles, where if you visit over there, there are 22 
and soon to be 23 open house all viewer videos. All visitors can view those videos. And if you visit and if you visit my Patreon site, The Three Circles, link below. If you visit over there, there are 23 open house all viewer videos that visitors can take in. You can even binge watch those if you wish. This is a tabletop review of these impressive molds from Russia with love. Bye for now.